Conservative radio personality and political commentator Rush Limbaugh has died at age 70. According to Fox News, it was Limbaugh's wife, Catherine Adams Limbaugh, who announced at the top of his radio show that he had died from lung cancer. She said in an emotional tribute to her husband, Losing a loved one is terribly difficult, even more so when that loved one is larger than life. Rush will forever be the greatest of all time. Limbaugh revealed his lung cancer diagnosis to the public in February 2020 on his radio show. In October of that year, Limbaugh announced that his cancer had progressed and was terminal. Limbaugh said at the time, It's tough to realize that the days where I do not think I'm under a death sentence are over. Now we all are, is the point. We all know that we're going to die at some point, but when you have a terminal disease diagnosis that has a time frame to it, then that puts a different psychological and even physical awareness to it. Though his right-wing viewpoints were often considered divisive, his broadcasts clearly resonated with many. According to Fox News, the Rush Limbaugh show grew to be the most listened-to radio show in the United States, airing on more than 600 stations. iHeartRadio noted that at its peak, the show reached an audience of more than 43 million listeners. He continued to host his show until just weeks before his death. Limbaugh rose to fame as a conservative firebrand, hosting his radio show for more than 30 years. He built a fan base of millions who called themselves Ditto Heads to reflect how often they agreed with him. Limbaugh had his first taste of working in radio at age 16 while still in high school in Missouri. As the Wall Street Journal observed, his early career was bolstered when the FCC repealed the Fairness Doctrine in 1987, which meant that controversial opinions could be aired without any required airtime for opposing views. Limbaugh took advantage of that repeal to construct a career around controversy. As his New York Times obituary puts it, in the Limbaugh lexicon, advocates for the homeless were compassion fascists, women who favored abortion were feminazis, environmentalists were tree-hugging wackos, he delivered AIDS updates with a Dionne Warwick song, I'll Never Love This Way Again, ridiculed Michael J. Fox's Parkinson's disease symptoms, and called global warming a hoax. Limbaugh was a staunch supporter of former President Donald Trump and had called former President Barack Obama the, quote, affirmative action candidate. Limbaugh also made headlines in 2006 when he was arrested on drug charges following an addiction to prescription pills. Limbaugh continued hosting his radio show as his lung cancer worsened and more severe symptoms set in. Limbaugh was a longtime cigar smoker and, according to Fox News, he was deaf by his final broadcasts but soldiered on. In his final radio broadcast of 2020, Limbaugh said he he had outlived his prognosis. He said at the time, I wasn't expected to be alive today. I wasn't expected to make it to October and then to November and then to December. And yet here I am, and today got some problems, but I'm feeling pretty good today. Limbaugh also told his listeners that his cancer had grown worse in 2020 despite treatments. As he said on air, it was going in the wrong direction. In his final years, Limbaugh supported Donald Trump's 2020 presidential campaign, and the pair became friends and went golfing together at Trump's Mar-a-Lago resort. Trump also awarded Limbaugh with the Presidential Medal of Freedom in January 2020, only days after the radio host had learned of his lung cancer diagnosis. On February 17, 2021, Trump broke his post-presidency silence to speak about Limbaugh's death on Fox News. He is a legend. He really is. There aren't too many legends around. Former President George W. Bush has also paid tribute to Limbaugh, saying in a statement, While he was brash, at times controversial, and always opinionated, he spoke his mind as a voice for millions of Americans and approached each day with gusto. Rush Limbaugh was an indomitable spirit with a big heart, and he will be missed.